All right, after you go over the whole bike and you're ready to put the oil back in, make sure the drain plugs are cleared off, cleaned off. Use a small screwdriver, pick, whatever you can find. Remove the O-ring and then you install the new O-ring back on the drain plug and then just put them in the proper locations. They're all the same. It doesn't matter if you mix, match the transmission drain plug or the oil, primary, it doesn't matter. Nickelback sucks fucking donkey dick. I know why I hate Nickelback so much. Because they're a bunch of fucking posers. Listen to what they sing about. It's about a sucking each other's cocks and shit. <laughs> Is that a Confederate flag a racist thing? No, I think it's just good art as long as it's out. Someone can take it however the way they want to. Not my problem. Black Dino Lives Matter. <laughs> so you're, you're putting drain plugs back in. Is there any, is it feel or? Usually, I believe it's 18 foot pounds of torque, but always consult your blah, 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 service blah. manual, blah, blah, liability issues. Don't take my word on right. exact torques because each bike's different torque spec for everything, so. Usually for me, I've been doing it for a while. So for me, it's pretty much feel. The issue is a lot of people come into, they think they have to torque down these bolt, these drain plugs so much. And the issue is the drain plug is steel screwing into an aluminum case. And guess which one is gonna lose? The aluminum case will always be stripped before the drain plug. So you don't want to over tighten over It's not it. a racial thing because the, the bolt is silver and the case is black, is it? No. No. It's silver on the inside though. <laughs> Thank God, fucking Nickelback is done. You should permanently delete that from your iPod. Caitlin's iPod. Oh, Christ. First of all, it's not mine. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. One thing to always remember when you're done, add your to, to remember to put the kickstand bumper back in its normal location because you don't want the kickstand hitting the frame hits the frame enough time it starts chip away from the powder coat start causing rust could have potential more problems later on down the road so always remember to try to put the kickstand bumper back We're good citizens and send our oil to the refinery. So the most important part of the one k service is the food. <laughs> is you, get the, dis you get a discount you, if you bring food. You get a discount if you bring food. So go Ravens. Put oil in it. Not just any oil. Ams oil. Super slick Ams oil. So it has its own special oil for a primary transmission and motor. If you want to use motor for all three, you technically can. It will work for all three, but if you want to be more specific, get the more specific oil for each, each compartment. So take a full quart. Yeah. What are you chucking? When you check in the oil, 
top of the oil line should be a little bit higher than the black diaphragm spring at the, at the bottom. If it's too low, <clears throat> less oil will be in there, which means less oil will contact the chain, which means the chain can wear out faster. Six speeds take a quart in the transmission as well. Amsoil, like I said earlier, has a distinctive well, oil each compartment. Amsoil is not a sponsor of this video. As you can tell, the oil color is different. Viscosity is just a little bit different to help reduce some noise and help lubricate the bearings. But the new derby cover gasket in the groove. Make sure it's in there. Screws in. What size is that? It's a T27 screw. Should be a quarter 20 thread pattern. Is there a newton meter gauge on that or is it just tight? I believe these should be right around 108, maybe 120 max inch pounds. Inch pounds? Inch pounds, not foot pounds. Like I mentioned before, when you take it off, you want to take them off equally. Just like you want to put it on equal pressure all the way around. You don't want to torque this one and this one. Otherwise, you could possibly warp the cover. You can use pretty much almost any torque wrench does its job. Right now, I'm just using a Craftsman. I don't have my snap-on ones here. They're at another location. Right there was 110 inch-pounds. just to make sure and always use a star pattern reassemble or put back in the transmission dipstick with this to check the level you want to turn it till you feel pressure and then remove it back out to then see where the oil is. Since the oil is brand new, it's gonna be hard to tell on it, but it's like right at the crosshairs because it's so clear. And then you just hand tighten that one back on. And then don't forget the little plastic piece. Now what I do, pour some oil in the filter before you install the filter onto the bike. The reason being is because it will take less time for the oil pressure to reach the top end. The less the faster it takes to get up there, the less likely for things to go wrong on a longer period of time. Also, you want to take some of the oil, clean oil, and wrap it around the oil seal around the outside. The reason being is for removal next time, it'll be easier to remove and take off. Keep a rag up underneath there and just Screw it in. And when you start feeling tension, it'll be a half turn to three quarters turn past that. And you don't have to force it down a lot. Remove the rack. Now what I do, pour some oil in the filter 
before you install the filter onto the bike. The reason being is because it will take less time for the oil pressure to reach the top end. The less, the faster it takes to get up there, the less likely for things to go wrong on a longer period of time. Also, you want to take some of the oil, clean oil, and wrap it around the oil seal around the outside. The reason being is for removal next time, it'll be easier to remove and take off. Keep a rag up underneath there and just screw it in. And when you start feeling tension, it'll be a half turn to three quarters turn past that. And you don't have to force it down a lot. Remove the rag. Take a model. You would want to add about two and a half quarts at first. Run the bike to make sure all the oil goes through the lines, everything's pressurized. Check the oil on the dipstick and then add or subtract any oil if necessary. You can still check the oil and dipstick, granted it's not going to be accurate because it hasn't been ran, it hasn't, oil has been gone through the whole motor, the oil filter isn't full of oil, but the fact that you have oil all the way up past the top is good because A, this bike is straight up and down, you're supposed to check it on the kickstand. But the fact that you know you're all the way up past the full mark is a good sign. That way you know you have plenty of oil in there when you go to start it. Rather have a little bit too much than not enough. I'll just say no five on it. Alright, really? Yeah. Now you take it for a ride and bring it back and make sure everything is, I guess, working the way it should work.